Hey guys, welcome back to my channel EG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this abstract globe animation inside of After Effects but with the help of Saber plugin. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation. Width I'll choose 1920. Height should be 1080. Frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 seconds. And for the background color, I'll choose solid black color and hit OK. And go to the choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action. Now press Ctrl Y on keyboard to create a solid background layer. I'll call it as Saber. And for the color, I will choose black color and hit OK. Now go to the effect and presets panel and search for saber effect and apply it on this layer. After that, as we can see, we have these two handles. First, we will tweak some settings. For the core size, I will choose 2. And for the glow spread, I will choose 0.3 and glow bias I'll choose 0.2 or even 0.1 yeah if you want to increase the glow intensity you can for the core size I'll choose 1.5 yeah this looks good to me now after that I'll select this layer I'll choose this course start I'll click on this anchor point I'll move it over here and this one I will move it over here in straight like this now after that I will select the saber I will go to the customize code and star size I will choose 100 and end size I will choose 0 something like this now after that I will create one keyframe on start offset and one keyframe on end offset and hit U. Initially I will make it 0 and create one keyframe on both of them. Zoom in a little bit up to 1.5 seconds. I will make this end size 100 and start size also 100. After that I will select this end offset I will drag it up to here. If I hit play we are getting something like this if you want to increase the distance um, i mean length so you can simply drag this things up to here something like this now after that go to the start create one keyframe over here and at this point create one keyframe over here and alt click on the stopwatch and apply loop out expression Hit Ctrl A, hit Ctrl C to copy that expression. I'll click on the start of it and hit Ctrl V to paste that expression. So we will get this thing again and again and again. Now after that, hit U and press P for position property. I'll select this layer and for the blending mode, I'll choose green. And after that, I'll hit Ctrl D, press P we need something over here as you can see it is 500 so 540 minus 500 which is 40 so now we will type expression on this one i will delete this layer for now i'll click on the stopwatch i'll type this expression over here position open close bracket zero comma Forty or minus forty. Sorry. Yeah. 
Yep. Now I will hit Ctrl D several times. So get this kind of stuff. Now after that, all we need to do, we need to adjust them randomly. It's totally up to you. You can adjust them by whatever you want. I'll do some random changes over here. So get some cool looking animations like this. Now after that, uh, you select here layers and you can change the color to red or any color you want like green or something it's totally up to you change some colors If I hit play now, I'll choose the quarter one. Just like this. I'll drag it over here. Drag this thing over here. This one should be here. So get this continuous animation over here. Hit Ctrl A to select all of them. Press Ctrl Shift C to copy those they um, to pre-compose those layers i'll call it as one go to the blending mode and choose screen hit ctrl d press s running this option and make it minus 100 and i'll move this form after that select both of them and drag it up to here so we'll get this continuous animation over here now after that select both layers, press Ctrl Shift C, I'll call it as Saber Animation, hit OK and again hit Ctrl D and I'll apply CC Spare Effect on it like this. Now I'll increase the radius up to this, go to the light settings, increase the intensity a little bit go to the shadings and increase this ambient and go to the rotation properties and if you want then you can rotate it the way you want right now i will go with this and if i hit play we will get this kind of animation if you want then you can increase a little radius a little bit something like this you can rotate it on any axis the way you want like this i'll click on this or instead of that uh, create one keyframe over here hit u go to six seconds and create another keyframe with one complete rotation so we'll just get this kind of rotating animation over here And hit end so my animation will end over here now after that i'll create one adjustment layer i'll drag it over here go to the effect and presets panel and apply cc lens effect on it and increase the size up to this so we get this kind of stuff if we go in full resolution we'll get something like this now after that what we will do, we will go to the shape animation layer, right click, create one adjustment layer over here, go to the effects and presets panel and apply brightness and contrast effect on it, I will increase the brightness and increase the contrast also, or if you want then you can decrease the brightness to 40%, like this, go to the main animation, we will get it will a lag for a time but final output will be awesome just like this
now after that one other thing you can do select this save our animation hit ctrl d select the saber press s for scaling option scale it a little bit choose green option press t for opacity i'll make it 20 and you can choose 10 percent in full resolution you will get this kind of stuff so yep this is a final animation with the help of saber plugin so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates and if you want to watch after effect tutorials in hindi then please consider to visit my another channel called ag animations link will be available in the description until then, stay tuned.